Well, happy Easter. Here I am again in a funny hat, sitting outside Easter Sunday, and uh, wanted to do a short little video just to get some of this off my chest. Dealing with family members, significant others, and and their fears, and how do they deal with it. And um, I realize everybody deals with this stuff differently, but it's just a word of advice, I guess, if you're dealing with this or somebody else. I mean, all we want, similar to my video on nursing home care, dignity, respect, autonomy. And we just want you to deal with reality a little bit, you know. Um, you can't deal with reality if you avoid it you know the only way you face fear is to to face it and take a step in suit up and show up you know and so i'm excited lisa's coming up to pick me up but we got into a little argument about whether or not she's going to come or should i go home it's a lot of travel it's my sister's having easter dinner i'd like to go there but i'd like to go home i mean it is an hour and a half drive so i give her that for Lisa, but it's an hour and a half drive. It's not a big deal. I drive an hour and a half, used to, and no problem. So, so I was a little miffed that she wasn't up here earlier, but she's on her way. I think she's just afraid. Last weekend was traumatic with my setback, but, you know, dignity, respect, autonomy. You know, my friends have been up here. My sister's been up here. They see the progress I've made. This week from last is a thousand times better. I got my meds straightened out. The, the, the steroids are good. Physical therapy, I've made vast improvement. In fact, the therapist was saying, it's like, you really don't even need a walker probably or the wheelchair. I'm sitting in a wheelchair now because it gives me a spot to sit outside and have a cigar. But he said, you can probably just have a cane for now my walking stick but anyway I mean I'll keep progressing and see but my point is that physically where I am this week the last week's night and day and um, I think Lisa's worried about that about coming up to get me and taking me home and my sisters you know they're all like being overprotective but sometimes you gotta give somebody their own autonomy and listen to them when I say I'm, I'm fine. Um, no, all right, maybe I have a setback. I don't think I will, but if I do, then deal with it. But, you know, it's, um, my friends come up. I went up yesterday, we went to Little Italy. I was, I had my walker, we're going up, you know, the streets there, they were kinda, not necessarily the best sidewalks in the world to navigate it's fine you know so I told Lisa I said just get up here pick me up we'll have a nice conversation on the way home let me see my dogs my sister's worried that you know dogs are gonna jump all over me knock me down they're not they're my dogs I know my dogs It'll be fine and um, you know, oh, what if we bring Watson up here? Well, it's not a great idea. He's going to a new environment. I have to hold him on a leash. I don't want to do all that. Just get me home. I'm open up the door. Let him. He'll jump up, look at my face, and it'll be fine. Everybody like overreacts. So, and I realize it's a little bit of a drive, but again, hour and a half. Just come up here, drive up to a Browns game all the time. It's no big deal. You know, they don't know people live in the country they think, oh my God, driving to Cleveland's like a huge deal. It's not a big deal. She's got a new car. So, she's on her way. I guess that's the blessing and the curse of having a Tesla. I've got the app, so I see where she's at and I see when she leaves. So I'm being a pain in her ass because I said, why haven't you left yet? So, that's the plan. She's going to come up and take me down and my sisters she's got honey baked ham 
Somebody there get me back up here. I just got to be back up here by midnight for insurance purposes and be fine. Um, they're all driving around, but that's what people do on holiday weekends, right? They drive all over the place. You gonna see family, so I'm, I'm no different. So, oh my God, it's too much time for you in the car. It's not too much time for me in the car. <laughs> yeah. So it, it's this whole idea again. This. Don't overthink it, you know, when you're dealing with people. Obviously, you want to be cautious, and you want to, but respect their wishes, you know. And again, I, I can be demanding. I can be an asshole. But I'm also going to keep it real. And, you know, this idea of, oh, my God, you can't handle an hour and a half in the car. I can handle an hour and a half in the car. I can handle an hour and a half sitting out here in 40-some degree weather smoking a cigar. I can handle an hour and a half in the car. So, you know, and so what, what's hard to deal with is dealing with people that can't deal with reality. You know, and, and, and the way you deal with reality is you get in it and see it. And I realized you had a rough experience last weekend. I apologize for that. I can't control that. They adjusted my meds. You know, we're going to have a little setbacks here and there, but... When I tell you I'm fine, then believe me. You know, because if I'm not, I'll tell you. But, you know, it's all about keeping it real. And living life, you know. I don't know how much time I got, I want to live life, you know, and I'm not going to. I'm not going to be crazy risky, you know, it's not like I'm saying, hey, let's go. Walk Virginia Kendall Park. You know, Just come up, pick me up. Let's go. Let me see my dogs. Let me see the house. Let's go to my sister's. Have a nice Easter dinner, and and um, I think that'll help Lisa. I hope it does because I think if she sees reality, and hopefully I don't have a setback. I don't think I will. You know, I got my meds. This, yeah, this nursing. Skilled nursing has been pretty good. You know, the therapy's helped. I get my meds on time. I get fed regularly. You know. So. What's frustrating is when people overthink it. You know, they think, oh, well, you can't be in the car for an hour and a half. You can't. Yeah, seriously. Um. I felt a little bad because I got on and said, why aren't you on the road yet? You know, should have been here by now. It's not that big of a deal. Get in the car, drive, let's go. You know, but... So, like I said, I can still... I still got my character defects. I can be a de demanding ass at times. But I guess that shows the brain's still working. Right? And pieces there. But um, it's not good to get too upset. I can tell, you know, that does impact the brain. You get resentment, you get mad, and all that. So I don't know. Self care. People got to deal with self care. You know, and if you're dealing with something, there are ways to address that. You know, and if you think. It's going to be hard to deal with. I told her, I said, get into counseling, get something. But I don't know. I don't know what she needs. But she just needs to probably just suit up and show up and deal with reality. And I think it'll be, it'll be fun, you know. And realize, you know, there's going to be a setback here or there. It's a great book by Margaret Silf called The Spirituality of Imperfection. I got it at home. <laughs> gonna give her some required reading we'll see if she does it but but it's a great book you know it's about you know life's imperfect sometimes but there's a spirituality and you can embrace it so I guess it helps to be a Browns fan we, we, we learned early on about imperfection <laughs> not a whole lot of spirituality with Browns I guess but so I mean, she's got a double whammy right now. She's dealing with her dad. Her dad's got a 
kidney stone. He's got to have a surgery to remove it and all that. But, but that's life, you know. You deal with life. That's, that's part of it. Don't avoid it. Um, so I just had to vent a little bit. I don't know if she'll see the video or not. I'm not sure if she watches my videos. Um, so, it is what it is. I got my... Thank God they, they finally got my laundry. I think I complained before about it. They take your laundry when you're in here, your clothes, and they launder them to keep them. I finally got it. I got my alpaca wool flannel I needed. It's a little cold. So, but other than that, it's good. Really enjoying my time with uh, my new friend here, uh, Michael. Um, we were sitting out the other day. We were talking. I don't know if he'll come back out, but we were we were venting. You know, he wanted to go to church. He also had kind of a setback with family. Like, they were supposed to take him to church. They're not taking him to church. You know, it's just like... And I realize everything is more urgent to people like us in this situation right time becomes very precious and so you don't want to waste it and you just want people to do what they say they're going to do and that's not always reality you know the program teaches us that you know the level of my serenity is directly in disproportional to the level of my expectations so i gotta lower my expectations but but i'm also a person that believes and the value of being responsible and calling people out if they're not responsible. And trying to bring them into reality. You know? So. I think it'll be better once she gets up here and sees this. She hasn't been here. She hasn't been to the Hope Lodge been to like one of my appointments at the clinic so it's hard to deal with reality when you don't show up you know and again I'm not blaming her maybe it's better hopefully she didn't see this video but it's got to show up you know and, and things will work itself out my buddy Eric's been great with that you know he understands he's dealing with some of this stuff with his own daughter He's got to suit up and show up, do the next right thing, and and things will work out. Pray to God to give you guidance, you know, give you strength. You know, when people say, oh, I'll pray for you, I'll pray for you, well, pray, okay, pray. Pray for me, pray for the family, pray for the caretakers. And pray that they have peace of mind and that they, you know, touch get in touch with their spiritual side where they can deal with some of this get draw, draw their strength from God God will, God will provide the strength you know so that's where I'm at it's harder to deal with <laughs> just a little bit of a control freak too trying to control her and Just try to, you know, and again, shoe on the other foot, I don't know how I would deal with it, but, but I've already dealt with it, you know, I mean, I guess the blessing and the curse about having a family history of cancer, we've dealt with it, you know, I lost my sister, Kathy, some years ago, she had breast cancer, had metastasized her brain, my dad had the same glioblastoma that I have we dealt with that you know dealt with my mother having her own mental health struggles with having a five year old that passed from a brain tumor and a couple of retarded kids and so all that stuff and it's never easy but it did sort of give us the ability to deal with things maybe more so than others so so I, I try to emphasize and try to hopefully Lisa and others they can learn 
you know, how to deal with some of these things, because it's just life, it's life, right? You know, we're all passing through it. So. I'll check in later, let you know how it went. So, a lot of, a lot of visitors coming in here to see their family. Today on Easter. Uh, anyway, I don't want to call this video, but it's probably not, not the appropriate, like, venting on YouTube. <laughs> so. All right, all. Enjoy your weekend. Thanks for uh, all the comments. Thanks for watching the videos. I'm inspired by seeing how many views and the people get stuff out of it and that gives me a good sense of uh, continuing purpose to be able to share things and you know a problem shared is a problem cut in half you know so sometimes just by venting it, uh, it helps too so so we'll see you soon all right bye-bye